Yolan True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and welcome to another extra video, the one that you see once a month. And today it's time again for a new arc. That's why I once again do this, let's call it TLDR video. I know everybody can read this page that Scopely published and announced for, for the new update, the Q Continuum part one, but I know that a lot of my viewers don't want to read it themselves and like me to do this video and that's why I'm doing this. A bit later than usual because I had another doctor's appointment because of uh, my lost eyesight and the trouble I have with my eyes after COVID. But now I'm here and I still think it's uh, early enough before the new arc starts. And I hope they don't mess it up like yesterday. The arenas were more unplayable than ever because probably because of the maintenance, because it was after maintenance. Even on PC, I had big troubles with playing it. Before, I only had trouble on iOS. Now I had trouble on PC. But let's keep our fingers crossed. It is in English, in, in German, by the way. It's, um, I press my thumb. That's the German version of uh, uh, keeping fingers crossed. So just for the ones that are not familiar with the German one, I, I live in Germany. So I can bring a bit culture in here as well. But we will see a lot of new stuff again today. So I'm a bit worried, but I'm still always the, the hopeful one. Um, there once was, was a prime minister in, in the UK. He, his name was Ted Heath. And he um, said a very nice sentence that I really kept for myself as well. That is, hope the best, expect the worst, and take what comes. And that's literally really describing my experience with Scopely. And uh, we will see what the experience will be tonight. We will get a new building, the independent archives. We get new chaos tech. We talk about that later. There will be new hostiles. <laughs> so another loop. More officers, more primes, more refits, more missions, more cosmetics, and of course a new battle pass. And we are heading towards the sixth year anniversary of uh, the game, so there will be some stuff there as well. You know back, but we go to um, the building and um, before that to some new quality of life improvements they brought in. They say they are sending some smart speed up buttons. I will talk about them in detail um, during the week after today, of course, um, no, after tomorrow, because tomorrow morning I won't be able to do videos for tomorrow morning tonight um, with with the new stuff. As you know, on Wednesday, there's always something in uh, from my general videos. In this case, something that has to do with me going to op 61. And uh, from Thursday, we will talk about all the new stuff. There will be the offices, the building, the new uh, loop and everything that comes with it. And of course, we will talk about the new speed ups in detail after I could experience them. But they say there will be smart speed up buttons that will um, speed it up. Also, there will be improvements in location navigation. There will be support for deep linking systems and uh, they will change the missions, but there's a lot we have to talk about um, in detail in the course of the next videos. And these speedups will be for buildings, research, ship repair, ship construction, and away teams, and we will see how that one will work. And that's why I, I skipped that, though, a little bit until I could see it. They will also change the setup of the missions. They will make some um, changes there how you can view your missions. Because if you get at the stage as I do at the moment, at 61, you can collect tons of missions. Because in six star space, there once again are loads of missions. And to sort them is, is, is a bit difficult. You can only archi archive those that you don't want to do now and have all the others in, in one column. They will sort that now, and I'll have a close look at that one. Especially, I will have a close look if you can accept more missions now. You know there's a cap of 50 missions, and that's a, a big problem if you start the game and find a lot of missions, or if you, for example, go to five-star space or six-star space where you find loads of new missions, there the cap is quite annoying, to be honest. And uh, I'm quite annoyed of the cap at uh, now reaching six-star space. But the most interesting things we will need to talk about in the next days will be the independent archives. They say 
that this is supposed to speed up stuff, especially for new players. With faster progression, reduced grind, amazing generic buffs and fewer clicks. So that will be a very interesting thing for me. Everybody from OP16, I guess it was, don't know where they wrote that, but everybody from OP16 will get this building and uh, you get the material you need for free in your gift section and that will continue to be that. Whoever reaches OP16 will get that and you don't have to buy it later on or whatever. And uh, you can just accept that and build the building. The upgrading will be a different topic, but we'll go there um, in detail then uh, in, in the video, especially on that building. Here they have the whole list. If you want to read it right now, there will be the whole list um, of what you have to do. There will be some, some tracks you have to unlock and stuff like that. But as I said, we will do that um, in, in an extra video in the next week. And then we will see in detail how this works. You can um, do that for a number of ships. That's the Botany Bay, the Vida, the Vida Talius, and the Voyager and the Monovine. For free, you will get the Botany Bay track. Um, and you can go through the Botany Bay track for free, as the, that's at least what they're saying. What about the rest? We will see once I have the building and we'll make the, the video on there. But you um, can make speed increases, component cost efficiency, data mining speeds, data bonus cargo. Um, the data bonus cargo is still interesting for me because I'm still collecting data from time to time for some exchanges in the um, in in uh, the the not the augments. What's the other again? Other oh, criminal section. Yeah, I spent too much time in waiting rooms today. <laughs> of course, my English is gone. Then we also get Chaos Tech. You all know Forbidden Tech by now, and uh, now they introduce Chaos Tech. And there, it's kind of working like Forbidden Tech, but on the other side, they say it doesn't. Because it's kind of, um, they say it's functionally and strategically different to Forbidden Tech, but uh, it somehow is dependent on Forbidden Tech. It's really interesting what you try to figure out when you read that stuff. Um, this this text is only available in English, by the way. So my German viewers who I will film the German version of the video right after this one um, really have problems finding these informations anywhere. In Nowadays, a lot of people in Germany do speak English because everybody nowadays learns it in school at least, but not all to the, to the uh, point where you can really have great conversations or whatever that depends either on, on this type of school and of course on practice. You can always hear, if I did too much in, in uh, German, then you can hear it in my English videos <laughs> that <laughs> my English got worse once again. And my English was much better when I was living in the UK. I, I, I've lived there for a couple of years and of course my English was better at the time after my return not very often speaking English, of course my English got worse. And so um, a lot of Germans who learned English in school still don't have the practice to use English all the time. And uh, that this information is only there in, in English is, is quite a problem for them. Although, you know, there, I know that there is ways to, to translate um, websites into other languages and stuff. But you will not believe how many people are still not familiar with all that's possible on the Internet. That's another point, not only that they don't speak English or, or not enough English to read all, especially all the technical stuff here in the text, but um, that they don't know how to, to steer through um, the Internet. Every 16-year-old today will probably be able to do that. But the older ones and a lot of people that are older than me are playing this game. This is not a game where I see a lot of 18-year-olds uh, playing usually. And so um, that really is an issue for, for, for that age group in German. Nevertheless, we will talk about this too. I will talk a little bit about the new text, uh, chaos text that will come in right away. Um, and I will talk about them in detail in, in separate videos, of course. But what I've already seen is that there's one 
going into the direction of the Tantalus device. The Tantalus device, which is a forbidden tech, is quite something where they really cross the line. It is so powerful if you spend the money on it. And you have, where I live, you have a, to spend 100 euros on it, which I didn't. And um, that's why I could see in the last incursion and in the arenas how ridiculously they crossed the line here. Because there, the gap between players who pay and players who don't pay is far too wide. If someone with a smaller level 56 ship can destroy my Rotaran only because he's got this fracking Tantalus device, then something is really wrong here. And um, I hope that the Q cannon will not go th the same way, but this is another um, PvP thing. It's a PvP chaos tech, but I hope, because I think uh, in the beginning you will only uh, be able to get them immediately if you pay for them. If you can get them via the game, we will see there's a possibility after this text here, but uh, not guaranteed, but we'll see how this one ends. There's also a temporal conduit, which is against hostiles, the electromagnetic loot and the thought maker uh, against armadas, uh, non-armadas. And uh, this one is for apex barriers again. Those are also there. So we have four new chaos tech in, introduced into the game. They work in case of upgrading and everything like forbidden tech. So you have to unlock them, then you have to upgrade them. If you want to place them on a ship, you have to pay certain rods for them. That all works like forbidden tech, even if they say that's different than, than forbidden tech. There will be new hostile types with which you can earn stuff for, for those. And that's the assimilated current class, the assimilated prohibitor class, and the assimilated Fromund class. And they are special new hostiles that make it possible for you to earn chaos modules because there will be a new Q continuum refinery and there you can refine these chaos modules you get from the new hostiles uh, into the material need you need to upgrade those uh, new uh, chaos items and um, I still hope that there will be a way to get some chaos item shards there as well but they don't say it here they they didn't really say how you can get them so that will be another part for me talking about in the in the separate videos about the individual items then but that's another grind i hope the the new building will reduce the other grind otherwise i don't know how i want to grind anymore because it's so much already we will see how that will work there will be new officers. As usual, there will be a new Epic officer that's Starfleet Q. And uh, I haven't seen the event schedule yet, of course, because the game is not running when I'm filming this. Um, I uh, And I don't think they publish it right away anyway. But this will be the Epic one. And I hope still that in this event schedule, there will be the next two Saturdays where you have a chance via the match spending event to get this Epic Q. But I cannot guarantee that yet. It's just my expectation. I hope they didn't change that possibility because it will be hard enough for the others because there are three new, uh, two new rare officers here and I usually don't even get one of the new rare officers. And in this case, it's two. It will uh, be Mariachi Q and French Marshal Q. We know them all. I mean, Starfleet Q anyway, we've seen a lot of times, but uh, Mariachi Q and French Marshal Q we've seen as well. By the way, Mariachi Q, there's already um, last time they, they it was really hard to find, but this time it's easy with a new promo code. It's Q Surprise. It will start 30 minutes after the event uh, change was. So don't do it immediately. Wait 30 minutes before you do it. Otherwise, the shop won't work anyway if everybody goes there. And it will be live for seven days. And you will get two Mariachi Q shards, two Starfleet Q shards, and 400 uh, independent archive schematics if you use the promo code. I published this, uh, that picture on my Discord as well if you want to read that again. 
Then there will be new primes and refits. There will be a prime liquid Omega Trillium refinery, a prime Terran arena claim, and there will be a new Gorilla Vindicator refit. The primes I don't have to tell you too much about. Um, I will not buy them anyway, um, as you know. And the new Gorilla Vindicator refit is... Uh, I don't really see what the function of that one is. If the refit brings... Uh, the epic mass red Val and rare butcher calra into the uh, refinery or not um for me this is not really majorly understandable here but we will um i have a look i will definitely make a video on on the preview of the new gorilla vindicator refit as well and we will talk about the refinery anyway in the next days then there of course are new missions presented by q junior um the fun was that uh I mean, he was quite annoying in the episode, but what I what really liked about that was that it really was the the um, was Delancey's son. So they were really father and son. So that was at least um, something uh, very interesting in, in, in that episode and with Aunt Katie. Um, there are some missions. Uh, the, the new 10 Q missions are level 38. The first five new side missions are level 38 and the second side missions are level 38 as well so i'm quite happy about this everybody be below 38 will say uh, no it's not nice but remember the last year how high they went with some missions so i'm quite happy that they set them at least all to level 38 so everyone can can uh, take part from there and there will be some new um, avatars, there will be new frames and new hailing frequencies, especially for the six year anniversary. So um, some st uh, of that uh, you will be able to get via the battle pass, so that will be fine. And they, what I'm really surprised by in this, in this list is the short list of bug fixes. If you have uh, watched my videos before that I made uh, in the in uh, in between for the new uh, updates there were that long list of bug fixes and this time it's that one and thinking about the amount of bugs we have at the moment in the game for my taste this list is far too small compared to the list of new stuff they bring in and we all know how many bugs come in with it, that and uh, that list cannot be that that short because they fixed so much yesterday because I experienced yesterday how much they broke. I, I said that about the arena. I'm totally short on these arena credits because it was, I managed four of, I guess I managed four, four arena battles yesterday because of all the bugs there. And it was, was terrible. So I hope um, that they just forget to write some bug fixes here and, and they did much more. But as usual, that was just a quick overview of what's coming and uh, if you know my channel for a bit longer you know that uh, i will make videos in the next week or two about every single new piece that comes into the game tonight and so this is really just giving you an overview so you don't have to read all the stuff here yourself and so you know how much is coming in what you can expect and uh, we will see how that will work tonight I'm really looking forward to your opinion about the new stuff, either below uh, in the comments below the video or on Discord. Who's not on my Discord yet, just write a comment under the video and I will send you a link. Please remember, write a comment. Don't answer on my comments. I will never find that again. The sorting on YouTube is a little bit uh, difficult there if you answer to anything I wrote write your own comment, a generic comment, then it will be on the top of the list of my comment list. And then I, I can see it and then I can send you the Discord link. It's uh, free access for everyone. Everyone is welcome, except the one troll I banned. It's it's just one. So, so far everybody is, is behaving quite nicely there. And uh, if, if I only have to block one, that's a really good quota. So um, it, it's nice to hear from you there as well. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.